Okay, after we get enough points um, collected, um, we can go ahead and mesh it. So in the reverse, we'll right click and we'll create a 3D mesh. All right here you can see the uh, triangles. We can turn those off. You can see the mesh. Not too bad. What we're going to do here is we're going to offset it to the probe. So I have a half inch diameter probe. I'm going to offset it just like that. You can see here that it's a pretty good mesh. This is a raw mesh. I'll clean it up, trim the edges, and make a surface. But just to show you uh, that we could build to a mesh. This is real time inspecting to the mesh. So, as you can see, that's the distance in real time to the mesh. I rolled over the edge, so I want to trim this back a little bit. So let's go ahead and crop, crop it. We'll go ahead and crop the Y here. Now let's uh, set a WCS that circle. That way we could crop crop the Z on that one. We do the same in this circle. So we'll crop the Z on that one. The way we get sharp edges of a mesh. So I have a nice tight mesh here. I'll also refine it to make it even finer. Go ahead and refine the edges. Now what I have is a very tight, clean mesh surface, which can be machined or surfaced. From here I'll go ahead and surface it. So from a mesh, we can use our auto surface. I'll go ahead and do a hundred surfaces, approximately, and go ahead and create the surfaces. This will create CAD surfaces that we can turn into a solid model. Okay, now I can turn off the mesh. Now I have CAD surfaces.